Hey, good morning, Dexlick family. Benny here with today's devotional. Hey, I get to share with you a failure today, and uh, it actually breaks my heart. I know I'm smiling, but um, uh, a couple days ago, uh, a few days ago, Kelly and I bought um, a big purchase, and I was dealing with the guy that we we bought it from, and and he was asking, you know, how how uh, how'd you guys uh, get to where you're at today to be able to do these sort of things and. That, that we were talking about, and, and he was asking financially, how did we get where we are financially? And I failed because I did not mention God. Um, I had mentioned God and stuff in previous conversations with him uh, plenty of times, and he never bit on any topic, so um, I don't know if that had a factor in it, but regardless, I failed. And what I told him was uh, good investments and working hard. I said, uh, we, we've been fortunate to make good investments in the past and, and we work a normal job, plus we flip houses on the side um, and that sort of thing. So we've been very fortunate in our finances. But the truth is, the, the way Kelly and I live our lives is through obedience to the word. And what the obedience is, is we tithe 10% of our income. And it does not make sense in God's economy how we can give 10% of our earnings away to the church, <coughs> excuse me, and be better off. It doesn't make sense, but I'm telling you it works. And it doesn't make sense that on top of that, we give a lot of money away to people in need throughout the year. And it doesn't make sense how you can give away and get better, be better off in, in return. And what I failed to do was, was to tell that guy, we are where we're at because of the favor of God, the blessings of God, because we are obedient in following his word, in tithing and giving gifts. And to be honest, that's, that's the truth of it all. And uh, so this devotional goes out to believers primarily, uh, people who are church going and all. And I wanna encourage you to be obedient. Just trust in God. You trust Him with your soul, with your with your life, with your salvation. Trust Him with your finances too. Just be obedient. Don't do it. Don't build up to the ten percent of tithe if uh, you if you are looking for a reward like a like a like from a casino or something because that's not how it works. Have your heart right and just determine to be obedient to the Lord. Be obedient to to uh, the Word of God. Listen, myself nor Kelly, we have never received a dollar from the church and we put a lot of time in and volunteering at the church. Uh, we have never received a dollar. We do not get anything uh, if tithes go up. All right, so we're not encouraging you to because we might get a blessing from it. We're encouraging you because we know the blessing that follows. And that's what I, I want to be to you as an encourager. Be obedient to the Lord. Um, follow through, build up your uh, uh, your finances so you can tie the full 10%. And uh, I know you'll be blessed, but you'll be blessed from the inside out, not the outside in. Have a great day, Dexter Lake. Work towards it. Be obedient. Break free of the carnal mindset of finances and gimme, gimme, gimme. And start having the mindset of giving away. And you'll be blessed by it. I promise you. Have a great day, Dexter Lake. We'll see you.